Welcome back to my online video tutorial series. At the end of this video, you should be able to construct a polygon when giving the length of one side. Today I'll be focusing on a pentagon. It's important to know that a pentagon has five sides. The giving side here is AB, which is 40 millimeters. My first step is to establish a horizontal line. Which I already have. I choose this point to be my starting point. I will label this point O. The next step is to draw the first side giving. For this, I'll be using my compass to establish the 40 millimeters. I will first open my compass to 40 millimeters, to 20, to 20 millimeters, which is half this distance. Using here as center, using O as center, I scribe on one side, the other side. So from here to here is AB. Next, I'll be constructing a perpendicular line vertically upward. To do that, I will be opening my compass to a suitable radius. I will label these points A. Second point B with A as center. Open your compass to a suitable radius. Scribe an arc above. With B as center, use the same radius to scribe an arc above. At the point where both arcs meet, is the center point for the perpendicular line. Next step is to draw a line from O through the bite to the point where both arcs meet upward. Normally you use your T square and your Z square to draw a vertical line, but in my case I will be using my T square to draw the vertical line. The next step is to construct or draw a 60 degree angle at both point A and point B. These angles should cut the bisector. So we're going to draw a 45 degree angle and a 60 degree angle from point A and point B. I will be using my 45 degree set square to draw my 45 degree angle from point A. To do that, I ensure that my T square is properly aligned on the straight edge. Next, I slide my set square to the point where A is. Then mark my first line. At the point where the 45 degree angle line cuts the vertical line, label that point 4. The next step is to use your 60-30 set square and from point B, draw an angle at 60 degrees to cut the vertical line. So this is my set square. At a point where the 60 degree angle line cuts the vertical line, label that point 6. Very important bits of information here. If you wish to construct a figure that has four sides which each side having a length AB you would use four as center and you would extend your compass to 4A or 4B then you draw a circle. Alright? Then you'd mark off those four points. 
In like manner, if you wish to construct a six-sided figure, you would use six as your center and extend your compass down to A, draw a circle. Then you would readjust your compass to your length of AB and scribe off those arcs on the circumference and you should get six equal parts. But in my case, I need a pentagon. A pentagon has five equal sides. It means therefore I need to bisect the distance between four and six to get my fifth point. My fifth point would fall someplace in the middle between four and six right here. To bisect the distance between two points open your compass to a suitable radius uh, describing my first arc. Size of a radius doesn't matter. Only important thing is whatever radius you use on one side, you must use the same radius on the other side. So using four as center, I scribe my first arc. I go up to next step, use six as center, same radius, scribe another arc. Point where both where the arc meet, where both arcs meet, draw a line through that point. At the point where the bisector, where the bisector cuts the vertical line, here, this is our fifth point. Fifth point. Point five. Again, something that's very important to note is that um, the increment from here to here, from four to five, is the increment that you would mark off on this vertical line if you wish to draw a polygon which has an increased number of sides, say for example, seven, eight, or nine. In that case, what you would do you open your compass to distance of 4a, 4 to a, and you would mark off some arcs that will give you 6, 7, 8, 9. So you would use for 7th side, you'd use the 7th increment as center, extend from here to, to point A or point B, then you draw a circle. Then you would readjust your compass to the, the side given. Use that distance to mark off some equal increment on the circumference. In my case, I need a pentagon, which is a five-sided figure. So I would open my compass from five to six, five to B, or five to A. Next have an arc, a circle, complete circle in this case. Next step I have is to open your compass to length of side AB. Using that radius, mark some arcs on the circumference. So we have one, two, three four and you should get five equal parts final step is to brighten up your figure is to plot from b to the first point you might want to label these a b c d and e Next, we're going to join B to C. C to D. D to E. E back to A. And brighten up A to B. 
sort of soldier is to it. Again, uh, the principles are the first step is to draw length of the side given. You can bisect that or you may identify a point, open your compass to half the given side, draw the length of the side AB. Next, identify the label those points A and point B. From point A, draw or construct a 45 degree angle line to cut the bisector. Next step is to construct or draw a 60 degree angle from point B. At a point where the 45 degree angle cuts the bisector, label at point 4. That 4 point is the center for four, for a four sided figure. At a point where the 60 degree angle cuts the bisector, that point is a center for a six sided figure. In our case, we need a five sided figure. So it means, therefore, we bisect between four and the six to get the fifth point. It's important to note that the distance between four to five or five to six is the increment that you would use to mark off progressively on the bisector if you need to increase the number of sides. Say, for example, if you wish to construct a seven sided figure, you would label here what would be seven, eight, nine. So you would place the compass here, extend it to A or to B, draw a circle. Then you would readjust to this side, then you'd mark off your seven equal parts. That's all there is to it. And this is a very important, very important principle. Thanks for watching.